Hi, Tammy. I'm Kelly Malloy from Apple for the Teacher. My TPT store is Kelly Malloy. My Twitter is at Kelly three, Kelly's 3Ps, Periscope's at Kelly's 3Ps, and Instagram, Apple for the Teach. If you guys would share this out, I would appreciate it. Give it just a second or two, see if anyone else comes in, and then we'll get started. Hi Tammy, how are you? What grade do you teach, Tammy? Are you hearing me, Tammy, out there? Hi Bethany, nice to see you. Oh, a substitute? I sub for a long time, I know how that is. Hi Bethany, what grade do you teach? Fourth, that's what I teach. You're gonna learn some great hands-on tips for um, place value that we've been working on this week. There's some action shots of my students this week as they were working on some place value activities that I'm gonna share with you in just a minute. Did you start school yet or are you still in summer mode? Yeah, we started last week. Are you working on uh, place value as well? Thanks for replying, I appreciate it. Okay, so I'm gonna get started. Okay, so for my first activity, these are just, um, they were medicine containers, you know, the type that usually say Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday on the top. Um, we just used some um, rubbing alcohol and soaked them in there for a little while and those numbers wiped right off. And now they have dice in them and then I put a rubber band around it just to keep the dice from falling out. And one of the first things that we do with this is the kids get to shake them. And of course they love anything that makes noise. And then we practice reading numbers, so this would be 5,136,422. And the partner would check it. Let's check it again. And then we have 5,215,362. 5, so this is a really great way to get them to learn how to say um, the big numbers because some of them are quite intimidated by those big numbers. Um, you can use this afterwards to have them write this in word form, in standard form, and then in expanded form. Thank you, Bethany. This is one of our favorite things. It's super easy to differentiate, too. My fourth graders are working on place value up to the millions, so most of them have um, th this number of um, dice in there. It, it's totally full, but I have a few that are still struggling and working. And so to differentiate, you just use less dice. And then they would be practicing to the thousands. So we would have 3,122. You could also put um, a little um, square in there that says greater, less than, or equal to, and three more dice here, and they can practice um, comparing them. You can use two and have them work with partners and they can compare which one is bigger, which one is smaller, equal to, etc. You can put two of them together and then you have fractions and you could compare fractions. So this would be five halves, two fifths, one half, um, five halves, three um, over one or three holes, six fourths and two halves or one whole. So um, it's really nice to use with different levels of kids without having to change too much up. I 
love to differentiate in my class, but I don't want it to be a whole lot of work for me. So that's my first game and first thing that we use. Then the next thing we do is called expanders. And I use these dice that I got from Amazon and they have um, a bunch of different levels. Um, the red ones are the easiest and they're up to six. And then the green um, I think is up to 12. And then um, the blue is up to 20. But you could also use these um, foam blocks from Dollar Tree and just write your numbers on them yourself um, if you can't afford it or you know to make it a little bit cheaper or easier for you. I know our budgets are stretched to the maximum to begin with but this is how we play this game called expanders. The students write on a whiteboard or whatever you have a place value chart And I usually start with just thousands when I teach this game, just to get started. And then my high flyers just make uh, boards with higher place value. And again, my lower kids who need um, some assistance, they would use maybe only tens and ones to start or hundreds, tens, and ones. Okay, so my kids that are on target are using the blue dice. And they are going to roll it and they're taking turns doing this so this would be the first person would roll they are going to roll four times so they have a 12 and they're going to choose where they want to put that to make a big number so let's say they use it in the hundreds place and then they roll again and they got a nine and they're going to put that in the tens place and they're choosing where they want to put these numbers a four so I'm going to put that in the ones place. And then a 19. So we'll put that in the thousands place. And then they add them up. So this would be 19 thousands. 12 hundreds. And this is where a lot of them get mixed up. They want to put their place value kind of all over the place. They might start the 1200 over here. So it's a really good gauge for me on who understands place value. And then for tens would be nine tens or 90. And for ones we have four. And then they're going to add them up. So this would be player one score is 20,294. And then player two takes their turn and they're checking each other to make sure their work is right and accurate. So they have a two, so we'll put that in the ones place. An 18, now we know I need something bigger because that 20,000, so I'm gonna put it in the hundreds and hope I roll a bigger number. And then a 10, we'll put that in the tens place. And then 20. Okay, so then we do this procedure again. So we have 20,000 and 1,800. And then 10 tens, which would be 100, and two ones. And we're going to add this up. And this is player two's total. So we're going to compare, and 21,902 is bigger than 20,294, so player two would get the point. And they're going to keep playing either till we get the first person to have five points or until Mrs. Malloy is done and I'm ready to move on to the next activity. And then the winner is the person who has the most points, and they absolutely love this game. And so I'll show you to differentiate for some of your strugglers. You're just going to change the board. And so I, oh, and with my high kids, sorry. With the higher ones, what they would do is then they're gonna go on to even bigger place value. So we could make it out all the way to the millions place value and change it up. So yeah, that's what I love too. They're really learning a lot of different skills in one game and it's a game so they don't realize they're learning. A lot of my kids go home, we don't do anything but play games all day in Miss Malloy's class. And I get lots of angry calls until the parents see what we're doing. <laughs>
Okay, so this is for some of my lower kids, and we're going to start with tens and ones. Hi, Jessica. How are you? Thanks for joining in. Nice to see you. Oh, and thank you for um, inviting some people. So right now I'm showing a game that's called Expanders, and we had done the um, level that I start with for my fourth graders, um, which is a place value with thousands, hundreds, tens, and ones. And now we are switching over to, um, how are you, that's good, I'm, it's, I'm happy to see you in here, Jessica. Sorry about that, guys. I get so excited when I see my friends in here. Um, so this is for the kids who are struggling, and we only have tens and, and ones to start. And I also changed the dice, and so I use a, a die that has um, smaller numbers on it so that they're not um, having to convert yet and move from ones to tens just to get them understanding. Um, so we roll the dice and we have a three. So they're going to choose which column they want to put that in. Um, hopefully they have enough sense to realize that three is small so we want to put that in the ones column. And then they roll and we have a six. And so the six is going to go there. And some of them have figured out, um, oh, it's just 63. But I really make them write this all out so that they can get used to it. And so when we get, they do get ready to go to the bigger numbers, they know what they're doing. So we're going to do 60 because we have six tens. And then we have three ones. And then that's 63. And then partner two would go. And they have a six also. So they might choose to put it here as well. And then a seven. So they have 60 plus seven is 67. So partner one had 63 and partner two had 67. So partner two would get the point. So I hope that you can see that this is really easy. You can teach this game to the whole class at one time and then you just hand out different dice and um, change their boards on what they need to do. Um, and none of them know who um, is working on the easier ones and who's working on the harder ones because they think we're all doing the same activity. So those are my two place value activities that I wanted to share with you. Um, I know a lot of you came in late, so make sure you watch the replay. Um, is there anybody who has any questions on what we did? Thank you, Jessica, it's tons of fun. Hi, Classy Teacher, we are just finishing up, so make sure you watch the replay so you can see the two activities that I shared with you. Um, I shared this one called Expanders, and I also shared um, how I use these um, medicine uh, cases to practice reading place value, and you can do expanded form and tons of things. Thank you so much. Um, these are two of my favorite place value activities. I hope to be sharing some more math activities with you, so make sure you're following. Um, thank you, I appreciate that, classy teacher. Um, if there's no questions for me, I'm gonna sign off and get ready for the TPT chat in a little bit. Um, I hope to see some of you there. Thank you so much, you definitely can use them when you sub. Um, I would even carry one of these in your bag, and you know those five minute filler times when um, you have extra time? I'll do this, I'll get them in line, and like we're waiting to go to an assembly or something, I will pick it up. And then I will show it to one of the students and say, can you read that number? And they'll say 3,323,112. And so we're practicing it all throughout the year. And um, they just get so much better at it. And um, it's helped a lot because I think reading numbers and understanding place values is very tricky. So thank you guys. I appreciate it. Have a good day.